Creole Parametric 9.0 now allows you to retrieve a component with a different name when you have a missing component. I think people are going to love this enhancement. Here I am in Creole Parametric 8.0 to show you the effect of that. I'm going to try to retrieve this chainsaw assembly, but before I try to retrieve it, here I have this part called bar. I'm going to rename it and move it into a different folder in order to force myself to have a regeneration failure. So let me start off by closing this and then erasing everything out of my RAM. Now here I am in Windows Explorer. Here is that part bar.prt. I will use control X in order to cut it. Let me go to the subfolder and then paste it. And now let's change the name. Instead of calling it bar, I'm going to call this guide bar. And now let's try retrieving that assembly again. Let me minimize Windows Explorer. Let's go to the open button. And here in my working directory, here is the chainsaw assembly. Let's click the open button. And you can see that I have a regeneration failure. Let me expand. The bar part is missing. If I right click on the component, I can choose retrieve missing component. And let me go to the subfolder. Here's the guide bar part. I'll click open. And we get this error. Selected model does not match missing model. You're not allowed to retrieve a component with a different name. All right, let's hop over to Creole Parametric 9.0 and see how it works there. Okay, now in Creole Parametric 9.0, let's hit the open button. And in the folder, where are you, Mr. Chainsaw Assembly? There it is. Let's hit the open button. And once again, the component is missing. Let's expand the subassembly, and then I can right click and choose retrieve missing component. Let me go to the subfolder. Here is the part that was renamed. I will choose the open button. And now we get this message. It says, hey, the selected model has a different name. Creole cannot determine if this is indeed the original missing model and will treat it as if it was renamed in Creole. Continuing with the wrong model can lead to failures, regeneration issues, etc. All right, I'll take that risk. I'll click the OK button. And now we no longer have a regeneration failure. You can see that we have guide bar.prt inside of the subassembly. So again, just makes life a whole lot easier.